Hello everybody, this is AB from Blender52 and today we're back with another 5 tips to make your life in Blender that little bit easier. Today we're going to be doing nothing but commands using the ALT key. So tip number 1 is probably the simplest of them all. We all know that we can scale with the S key, we can rotate with the R key and we can move with the G key. But did you know that if we press ALT G, you'll reset the movement. If you press Alt R, you'll reset the rotation. And if you press Alt S, you'll reset the scale. Okay, tip number two is how to clip your view. Are you ever working on a model where you're trying to get inside to a particular face so that you can work on it and it's it's just a pain to try and get there. You have to try and get inside the model and you still can't quite get to it and every time you move the camera the other faces are in the way well did you know that if you press alt b you can clip your view and you can now see inside your model with no pain or fuss easy as now it's important to note that nothing has actually happened to your model this is just the view that's being clipped so if we press alt b again it goes back to normal so we can do this in any particular way really clip our model work on the pieces we need to work extrude those down scale them etc press alt b and it's like we were never there okay so tip number three is how to clone an asset now we all know that if we press shift d we can create a duplicate however did you know that if we press alt d you create a clone. Now, this has a number of very handy benefits. The first one is that it's not actually adding any extra data to your file. So if we click on this original one, we can see that it's called cap. And if we click on the second one, we can see it's called cap 001. However, if we expand this, we can see that it's also called cap. So both of these are using the same vertex data. So essentially we could add a hundred of these little caps to a model without adding any extra data to our scene, which can be very handy when it comes time to rendering. Now, the other benefit is that because these are clones, it means that I can adjust one of them and all the others will adjust at the same time. So instead of having to make a change to each of our little caps, we can make a change to one and it will automatically affect all the rest. So once again, Alt D and we clone. Now you can see we've made another clone, but once again, it's still using that same original cap vertices. Okay, so tip number four is how to change multiple modifiers across multiple objects at the same time. Now, if we look at these models, we will see that they each have a bevel modifier, but each one has a slightly different bevel amount. So if we wanted to change all of these at the same time, and we now change this amount, you would see only the active model changes. However, if we hold down Alt and now adjust this value, you can see that it now affects all of the models at the same time. So just hold down Alt and you can affect all of the selected models. Okay, so tip number five. Now, I know I said that all of these only use the Alt key, but it turns out I'm a filthy, filthy liar and you can report me to the Blender Foundation if you must, but this one also uses the Control key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Alt, Control and Q and that's gonna give us quad view now those of you who are used to 3d studio max will know this layout very well and it can be just a really great way to get an overall perspective of the silhouette of your model and how things are looking and then we can just press Control alt and q again to go back out of there so that's just one last little handy tip okay so those are our five little tips using nothing but the alt uh, Control alt key commands I hope that you guys were able to learn something from them and that it was informative. Once again, I want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters. We have a new guy up there, Mr. Nigel Hillier. Thank you very much for joining. Your support is appreciated. As usual, to Crow3D and Unfi Kulianzi. 
Thank you so much for supporting Blender 52. I will be putting this little quadruped robot up on the, the Patreon for anyone who subscribes. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. Tell us in the comments what you think. And until next time, this is Blender 52. Cheers.